Hey there, friends. Are you ready for today's really big question? Our question today is, what is a sluggard? Is it a slug? A bat? Lazy? Or crazy? Hmm, I'm not sure, but I think we'll know exactly what the answer is as we learn another great lesson from God's Word. Let's dive in. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus, everyday children's way. Hey there, friends. I hope you had a marvelous Monday and you're getting ready to have a terrific Tuesday today. Now, yesterday we started talking about God made so many wonderful creatures. He made the elephants back there that go... And he made the penguins back there which go waddle waddle, waddle waddle, waddle waddle. And he even made the zebras back there that go probably not like that, but something really close. But besides having a lot of fun sounding like animals, God gave us animals to show us something very special or to even teach us a very important lesson. And today we're going to talk about, I see it on the ground. Well, you can't see it. You know those really tiny black dots, or maybe they're red dots, you might want to run away. Those little black dots that move around all on the ground, and we call them ants. Did you know that the Bible teaches us a very, very important lesson about ants? They're very, very small, but they do a whole lot of work. In fact, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, it would say, Consider the ant, O sluggard. And you might hear that word and say, What's well, a sluggard? Well, some people might say, That's a slug. That's not right. Or maybe sluggard is in a baseball bat. But no, that's not it. You see, a sluggard is another way of saying you're a very lazy person. In fact, if you were to look at the ant and how the ant works all year long till it can no longer work anymore, that's what God says we need to pay attention to. He would say when you look at the ant and you see how much the ant works, it works all throughout the summer trying to collect food for the winter time when there's no more food, the ant would show us that when we work hard with our hands and we keep on working, there's going to be a time where we're going to have to stay indoors, but we get to keep all those things we've worked very, very hard for all throughout the year. And you know, working with God is exactly the same way. God says He promises you a treasure unlike anything you've ever seen before. In fact, Jesus would say in Matthew 6, where your heart is, there, or where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And if we're storing up earthly things here on earth, like video games, or couches, or cars, or our favorite t-shirt, you know, we can't take any of those things with us to heaven. But what we can take to heaven is our soul. And friends, that's the only thing we can take to heaven. So what are you doing to help store up goods for your soul. How are you making food for your soul or how are you working hard to show God that you truly want to work just like the ant? Now friends, that's all the time we have today. Let's think like an ant and work hard for heaven as our home. Let's go sing a song with our friend Paul and work on our memory work. Let's go. Sing Christian songs with Paul. Thanks, E.T. Hey, kids, would you like to sing another Christian song? How about God surely loves you? Look at the flowers and know God surely loves you, surely loves you. Take in the fragrance and know God surely loves you, surely loves you. Oh, He 
blesses you. He cares for you in more ways than we can conceive. Let's thank him for each drop of rain, each sunrise, each cool evening breeze. So mighty and gracious is he, is he. Look at the flowers and know God surely loves you. Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. Hey friends, it's a musical day today. So I thought it'd be a great idea if we sing our memory work together. Now I'll sing the song twice, but I want you to listen the first time and see if you can sing along with me the second time. Now since our verse is really, really big, our song's gonna go a little fast. So our memory work comes from Job chapter 35, verse 10 and 11. So you ready to use your listening ears for the first time? Three, two, one, listen carefully. Where is God my maker who gives songs in the night? Who teaches us more than the beast of the earth? And makes us wiser than the birds of heaven? Now friends, let's see if you can sing it with me the second time through. You might have to listen to it a couple times, but I'm sure you'll get it over time. Are you ready to sing with me? Three, two, one, let's go. Where is God my maker who gives songs in the night? Who teaches us more than the beast of the earth? And makes us wiser than the birds of heaven. Now friends, if singing is the best way for you to learn God's word, keep singing this song until you've got God's word in your heart and you can sing and make melody to God every single day and you'll be sharing God's word too. Now friends, let's go answer our really big question for today. Let's go. Are you ready for the answer for today's really big question? Our question today is, what is a slugger? Is it a slug? A bat? Lazy? Or crazy? Hmm. Let's get rid of these two. If you guessed lazy, you're absolutely right. Great job listening, friends. We'll see you next time. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 Jesus,